What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing my favorite figures that I like to pose around slash pick fed with. Now, if you guys are starting your own pick feds, if you guys are, you know, just into figure photography, if you like to just play with your figures, pose them around, do whatever the hell you like to do with your figures today, I'm going to discuss the figures that I personally love to pose around, love to pick fed with, Specifically, pick fed. I think I'm gonna nail it down to pick fedding today instead of uh, you know like play around with slash you know whatever. Specifically, pick fedding because I want to focus on that because I think I have done sort of like playing around with or posing around with before. So I am gonna do just pick fed figs. So if I add like ten spots on a roster or five spots on a roster, I'm gonna run through my absolute favorite guys to pose around with slash pick fed with, and we're just gonna get into that today. And so you guys, if you're if you're making your own rosters, I would highly recommend any of these guys to be on your roster so that way you have some guys to pose around you have some guys to have fun with and you know you don't have headaches like freaking eric rowan or uh you know freaking Big E and people like that you know really hard figures to pose around those are not going to be in today's video you know i could make a whole video talking about figures that suck to pick fed with and we'll probably do that video later on but today we're going to focus on the figures that i love to pick fed with so with that being said guys let's go ahead and get this shit started so starting out first, guys, we are going to start things off with Seth freaking Rollins. Now, Seth Rollins is a great guy to use in a pick fed, mainly just straight off the cuff because of his ball joints. You know, he has ball joints. He's very fun to pose around. One thing I will say, though, is, uh, you know, WWE figures in general, they get pretty loose in the legs, especially after posing them over and over and over again, doing super kicks over and over again. You know, some figures are definitely worse than others, and sometimes you'll get loosey-goosey legs that are just god-awful. So that is something to take note of with any WWE action figure, but Seth Rollins is a really good figure. I, you know, I love his move set, and you know, uh, with with kicking and stuff like that, with the ball joints, it really helps. He can do loads of, of different moves very easily with those ball joints. I love the ab crunch that he's got going on the arms, and he just is a good looking figure in general. You know, we have so many different figures of him. My personal favorite is the Elite 45. I just love that figure. The white attire is so freaking clean, so I really love the Elite 45 Seth Rollins, and it is just so fun to pose around, man. It's it's really anybody who has a Seth Rollins figure and you know pick feds with it knows how good it is and I would say that a lot of people would agree with me one guy that's not going to be in this video is Rey Mysterio and that's just because I've never pick fed with him before because he's never been in the MDT pick fed but he's an excellent figure and you, you can't go on about great figures without including Rey Mysterio so Rey Mysterio is definitely on the list but I, I'm not going to include him in this video but Seth Rollins is going to start off our list guys next up is going to be John Cena now John Cena reigning MDT champion beforehand he was the second ever MDT champion. Got defeated by Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble in the Triple Threat match, but his figures are really great to pose around as well. We are not going to include the early elites, you know, the defining moments Cena, the other defining moments Cena, his Elite 7, his Elite 3. All of his earlier figures for the elites were just, just. I mean, they were okay figures. They were solid figures as far as appearance and, you know, uh, accessories, things of that nature, but as far as posing around, guys, those are not very good. I, I do not enjoy posing with those. I'm referring to the shorter shorts, you know, I think we've gotten in pretty much every color. We've seen khaki, we've seen dark jeans, we've seen light jeans, we've seen black, we've seen camo, we've seen other camo, and I think we've even seen other camo. So we've seen a lot of different jorts and different shorts for Cena with this mold. So I'm specifically talking about the ones that have the shorter shorts. They're really fun to pose around. They have really good ankle joints. They got the calf rotation. Really fun figures to pose around with, and I never had any trouble with these types of Cena figures when posing them around in the pick bed. So I really enjoy John Cena as well, so I wanted to include him here right behind Seth Rollins. These are not in any particular order, mind you. I'm just sort of uh, rattling them off here. So the next figure that is after John Cena, guys, is going to be Adam Cole. Now, Adam Cole is on ball joints just like Seth Rollins and John Cena. Both of those guys are on ball joints. The only thing I don't like about Adam Cole's figures is that they have the really tiny little man legs that I just cannot stand. I'm not a fan of those at all. So those are something that I always switch out. Um, what I would recommend is if you guys don't like the small legs you know a lot of people don't mind the small legs and that's great you know Adam Cole's not a big guy or anything like that so I can understand if you wanted to keep your small legs on your Adam Cole figure but for me personally I like to switch on either Bo Dallas which are probably a little bit too big I, I would probably refer to the William Regal Elite 45 Rollins 
or Rollins. Elite 45 Regal legs over the Bo Dallas legs, but if that's all you got, I would I would just recommend switching them out just because I hate how small they are. He's really, really short, and it just, I don't know, it just is very unattractive to pick fed with. I want Adam Cole to look like a grown man, so, uh, you know, he's got the beard. He looks good. He's a handsome man. He's got the beautiful eye color. You want his legs to look good as well and not those wimpy baby legs, so I like to put on the William Regal legs, but he is a fun figure to post around. Another guy who has a great move set, you know, you freaking super kick people's chests off, freaking super kick their heads off. You can hit the Panama Sunrise on the A and, you know, just, just destroy people. So Adam Cole is definitely on my list, rattling off number three. Going into number four, guys, number four is going to be Luke Harper. Now, Luke Harper is a very fun figure to pose around with. I have just gotten into posing him around more because he's in the Wyatt Colt, and, you know, he's starting to get more in-ring action after winning that number one contender tournament. Taking on the Young Bucks at Hell's Gate. Very fun figure to pose around with. Just really overall, I really don't know how to explain it. If you guys own the Elite 35 Harper, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not including the Bludgeon Brother Elite 66. That figure's kind of garb as far as posing goes. But you put that head sculpt from the Elite 66 onto the Elite 35. You're cooking with peanut oil there, Brad. That figure is very fun to pose around. Very fun move set. Big guy can throw guys around. Really good arms, ab crunch, legs on ball joints again. And uh, just an overall strong figure. I love that figure to death. Luke Harper, super underrated talent, super underrated figure. Getting into the next figure, guys, we are going to move on to my boy Kevin Owens. Now, Kevin Owens, if you look at his first Elite in Elite 43, and then you go on to Elite 46, and then you go to Elite 53, I think, after that, I wouldn't say his figures, I mean, they were solid, I'm not going to lie, but I wasn't a big fan of the Elite 43 and the Elite 46. At the time, I was, but then, like, as we got progressively, it's like, Jesus Christ, those figures weren't that good as far as the look of them. But I'm referring to, you know, the WrestleMania figure, his Elite 53 was a good figure, he got the Elite 60, what was it, Elite 66, and then you have his, uh, his, uh, I don't, I don't, I think that's the last Elite, no, then we had that terrible one where the, with the U.S. Championship was like with the shaved head that looked really god-awful unless it was like customized, but anyways, posing those figures around is great, I really enjoy Kevin Owens, obviously, MDT Extreme Champion, really fun guy to pose around with, and, um, you know, especially with the interchangeable hands, now that we have two mic holding hands that can be in there instead of the choke slamming hands, I think his old figures had choke slamming hands and they were really wide and now he can actually hold weapons hold microphones really easy compared to that one so that's really nice to see you love to see that anytime you get a figure especially when pick fitting you love to see mike holding hands <clears throat> vomiting so you love to see Mike holding hands, especially with the pick fed, you know, guys cutting promos, holding championships, holding weapons, especially a guy like Kevin Owens in the Extreme Championship Division. Guys, you really love to see that. But Kevin Owens has a really fun move set. I love the stunner. I love all of that. And uh, you guys may actually get to see the stunner pulled out at Hell's Gate. He has not pulled it out just yet at MDT, so maybe that'll be something we can see. But Kevin Owens is another guy that I definitely wanted to add into the video here with my favorite guys to pose around with in the pick fed. Next up, guys, these really don't really count, you know. I'm going to be honest with you because the, these are not figures you can get from Mattel. Well, sort of they are, but they really aren't. I'm referring to Tyler Breeze Elite figures. Now, I'm actually referring to Young Bucks because the Young Bucks... Actually, you know, I use Tyler Breeze as the base, so I am saying Tyler Breeze slash Young Bucks. I'm referring to the Young Bucks because that's who I'm using. I, I have used Tyler Breeze in the past before as well. He's a part of the Fashion Police that were in the number one tag team tournament. They are featured in the pick fed, but I'm specifically referring to the Young Bucks, but they are, again, the bases of those are Tyler Breeze figures. So um, I did want to put them in the video because they're really good. They have a really fun move set. Super kicks are really easy, stuff like that. So, uh, stuff like, you know, the Young Bucks are really great. You love to see that. And so, the Young Bucks and Tyler Breeze I had to put in here. Again, Young Bucks haven't been made. Maybe we'll see some really cool Young Buck figures at New York Toy Fair coming up this weekend. So, maybe that'll be something excellent. I can't wait to cover that event. I think it's going to be great. We're going to get great figures from Mattel. Should be really good stuff. So, Matt, Mattel. So, Young Bucks and Tyler Breeze are plugged in. Guys, I did want to plug in my last figure right here. And it is going to be Cedric Alexander. Now, Cedric Alexander. Alexander featured on MDT Live, showed up at the Royal Rumble, and he is actually going to be competing in the MDT Hell's Gate Elimination Chamber for the MDT Championship. So, really fun guy to pose around as well. I know the torso does kind of suck, but it doesn't matter what torso you use. He's still a really good figure, and that's surprising because he's actually not on ball joints like the rest of the figures in this video. Every figure besides Cedric is on ball joints in this, in this video, but he is not, and that's actually surprising that his figures 
are not garbage because usually when you don't have uh, when you have the pine cone joint slash whatever you want ratchet joint whatever you want to call that thing uh, it, they're usually not good you know CM Punk figures are kind of tough sometimes um, there's a ton of figures that are like that especially the old figures that have that little look instead of the ball joints really tough things to pose around and it is not fun to see but Cedric is not like that really fun guy to pose around really fun move set and I think guys move sets combined with a really fun figure to pose around and easy to get into those poses for those moves those are the best figures and that is kind of what Cedric is and what all these guys are on this you know this list that we're talking about here today but those are the ones that just came to my mind you know they they really did I was like what figures do I really love to pose around I thought about it for a few and uh, these are the ones that just really came to me a lot of guys that I use in the pig fed really are not that easy to pose around so it was really fun to get these guys in here uh, some of the top competitors across both brands are actually kind of tough to pose around sometimes so that is, that can be kind of you know difficult but uh, at the same time you know uh, I want to put that talent in the pig fed so you know it is what it is but that is going to do it for today's video guys I hope you guys did take something from this video again if you want to pick fed with any of these guys in this video I highly highly recommend them very good stuff add them to your rosters you guys will see what I'm talking about but I'm gonna get the hell out of here guys thank you so very much for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I will see you guys in the next video thank you